am particularly happy that the other organizations also working in the way of God to realize God, to dedicate our lives to the God. The representatives of such organizations have also come at our invitation. I have been asked to speak on the qualities and attributes of a worker, of a karyakarta of the VH. I will begin with this. Why do we work in Vishwa Hindu Parishad? And it is obvious to all of us, it is the experience of all of us, that we do not work in the VHP for any personal gain. Kuch apna fayda nahi hota hai. You have to spend your own money. You don't get any uh, money to attend a camp or to attend a work. You spend your own time. And then the whole of the program is bound by so many rules a very strict discipline. Why do we work for it? And uh, any of us would say that we work for the dharma. Not at a personal level. Because if we are working for dharma at a personal level, we would be sitting at home and praying or in an ashram for praying. We assemble here to establish dharma in the society and in the world. This is what the God says is his work. In Bhagavad Gita, the fourth chapter, Bhagavan Sri Krishna explains as to why he descends to the earth in the form of an avatar. And he says that he comes here on what occasion? Yada yada hi dharmas se hanir bhavati bharata. So he comes to the earth when the religion and the religious practices degenerate. And then when he comes, what does he do? Abhyutthanam adharmas se tadatmanam srajameham. Paritranai sadhuna to help the virtuous people. Vinashai cha dushkritam to destroy the evils. Dharma sansthapunarthai to establish the dharma sambhavami in the India. So the God comes when the dharma is at a decline. He comes, he helps the virtuous people, he destroys the evil, he re-establishes the dharma as the rules of behavior and virtuosity. That is what he does. And that is what we do. We all work for dharma sansthapanartha, act for which the God descends. We are doing a divine work. We are doing a work for the gods. And if we have that feeling, that will change the entire mindset and will take us to the next level. What do you do when you are serving food in that poor part? You are serving food for the god. After the food, when you are cleaning up, you are cleaning up for the god. The cleaning, of, the cleaning up of the tables is an offering to the God. When you speak here, you speak for and to the God. When you sit here and listen, you sit here and listen for the gods. Ye pura jeevan bhavan mai ho jata hai. Aur hamara channa, firna, bolna, udna. Hamara nahana dhona, hamara brush karna. 
सब भगवान के लिए हो जाता है हम रुस करते हैं जिससे हम संकल्प करते हैं कि सात्विक भोजन करेंगे और जो सत्य है व्यवहारिक सत्य है वह बोलेंगे हम स्नान करते हैं कि भगवान ने ये जो इंस्ट्रूमेंट हमको दिया है सेवा करने के लिए इसको साफ और एफिशियंट रखेंगे हम खाना खाते हैं नॉट फॉर अवर टन बट फॉर अवर हेल्थ ये मैं समझता हूं कि पहली भावना है और दूसरी भावना क्या है तो जब हम ये सब करते हैं और बहुत करते हैं और कई बार हमको लगता है कि बाकी सब तो सो गए मैं अकेला खड़ा हुआ इस काम को कर रहा हूं एवरीबॉडी एल्स एज गॉन टू स्लीप एंड हेज रिटायर्ड आई अलोन एम डूइंग तो कई बार मन में ये आता है ना कि लुक है माय कंट्रीब्यूशन इज द बिगेस्ट आई एम द फर्स्ट ऑफ इट एंड देन यू आर रिमांडेड ऑफ रिमांडेड ऑफ द इलेवेंथ चैप्टर ऑफ भगवत गीता भगवान शोज टू द अर्जुन हिज विश्व रूप हिज कॉस्मिक फॉर्म एंड विद अ वेरी वाइडली ओपन माउथ fires in it and all the kauravas arjun and others uh, sorry duryodhan and others they are entering into his mouth the god is devouring them eating them up and then he tells arjun arjun you saw it this duryodhan this beast to this curd this ashwatthama they are destined to die they would lose the war and be killed i have done it i have programmed it you fight or you may not fight this is going to happen arjun i call upon you now to be my instrument to complete my scheme For this earth. So, when you are working and you, the others have left. Remember that the God's work is being done by the grace of the God. We are only the instruments, and therefore, when Krishna answers in the Gita. As to who is a sattvic karyakarta, he uses the word anaham vadi. An means no, aham means me, vad means is me. When you talk to some people, they would say, "Yes, we hold, we held that conference. I planned it. I collected so much money." I invited him and he came. I arranged for this. I, 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 I. This I dominates the entire description. Krishna cautions: You are working with my powers. You are working for me. You are working in a cosmic planning. Please don't assume. Let you shall have the entire credit of it. Even if the credit is to that person, a sattvic karyakarta would give it away. Would give it away to all the workers. We have a, we have been reciting Hanuman Chalisa. All of us know that this is a chalisa written in the praise of Hanuman Ji, right? Hanuman Ji is the chosen deity. How does it begin? The very first doha, Shri Guru Charan Sarovar Jagat, Nijman Upuru Sudharmi, and what thereafter? Varan Nahu, Raghu Varan Vimal Yash. Who's Yash? Who's glory? Hanuman's. The very first doha says, Varan Nahu Mani. I will now explain to you. Ram Chandra Ji's holy powers. 
होली फीडती है सो इन हनुमान चालीसा इन द वेरी फर्स्ट दोहा इट सेज दैट दिस इज द ग्लोरी ऑफ नॉट हनुमान जी दिस इज द ग्लोरी ऑफ द राम एंड एट द एंड ऑफ इट when you invite hanuman ji to sit in our hearts you don't invite him alone what do you say ram lakhana sita sahit that is the karyakarta the glory to the god the glory to raghuvar raghuvar vimala yashwar so we do our contributions we make we say for the god to the god of the god i am an instrument of it and therefore we succeed we all study ram charita about hanuman ji about ram ji was it necessary for ram ji to come to kill hanuman kul ravan he could have built it from the heavens and it would have been done why did he come why did he wait to a jungle for 14 years why did he eschew his rajasic clothes and go separate he did not even wear chappals to be an example for us on how to wait so the next point that i would like to share with you is that uh, a vhp worker always makes efforts to form a group we call it toli and it is the toli it is the group that collectively performs the tasks by discussions by involvement we create a consensus we create a spirit to do things and then it happens how does ram behave to the toli i'll give you two three instances we know that uh, ravan insulted his own brother vibhishan the vibhishan then went to rama's camp from the skies and he was his follower Coming to Rama's shivir, Sukri went to Sri Ram and informed him that from the air route, Ravan's brother is coming. What did Ram tell him? What were his instructions? Those who have read this part of it would remember. Ram did not give any instructions. He asked. to greet ji he is coming please advise what shall we do he seeks the advice of sugri sugri says that these demons are very unpredictable persons so immediately arrest him tie him up and confine him to a camp now this was not what But what was in the Ram system? He was not to arrest Anuman Ji or the Vibhishan. So how did he respond to this suggestion? Did he say, "Subhri, are you a fool, an idiot"? He didn't say that. He said, "Sakha, friend, niti tuva nika sujai. You have given." a very useful suggestion to me but i am known as a person who accepts anybody who comes to his sharan who seeks shelter did scold him did not rebut him said yes all right but then there is an alternative way of doing thing and then that alternative way was accepted compare how ravan acts how ram acts 
I'll give you another example. They all reached the shores of the sea. The sea was to be crossed. Ram seeks the advice of Vibhishan. Vibhishan ji, how do we cross this sea? Vibhishan says, Samudra is your Kula Guru. Pray to him and ask him to give you way. Ram accepts that advice. He sits there for three days. The sea does not respond. And then what follows has happened. The point that I am making is, even if I am the state president, even if I am the international working president, it is my duty to co-evolve my group, my tolling, and that can be done by seeking and respecting their advice, by evolving a consensus, not by giving adesh. And then the third part, how do you build up a toli? One of the most mesmerizing portion of the Ram Charit Manas. And with a very deep meaning to it. The bridge is made, the ocean is crossed, they go on to the top of the Subir Parvat, they are in the enemy territory, the next morning the fight is to begin, the Rama and his important companions are around. There is a full moon. What does Rama ask at that occasion? The strategy has been made. The preparations are all right. He asks, why is there a black spot on the moon? Nothing about the war. An informal discussion. It is not this that we call a Tory meeting. We have an agenda. We discuss the agenda. Agenda over. Thank you. Goodbye. No. An informality. Friendship. Coming together. Sharing. Everybody shares his own views. Why is there a spot? Everybody shares. And then everybody says, Ramji, you share. Ramji is the eldest of them all, <coughs> is respected and revered by them all. Mark the answer. Ram says, there is poison. Because the moon was brought out from the ocean after the poison. There is poison in the midst of the Chandrama. In the midst of the moon. And uh, the persons who are living in the world, 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 who are living in the Consider the importance of this statement. The importance is this that after an informal discussion, Ram shares with his junior colleagues his own personal travesty, his difficulty, his missing of Sita and be tormented by it. When you share something with your junior, you win his confidence, you win his loyalty and therefore as, as has been said so many times, that we are a parivar. This parivar has been made not of the formal meetings, but of the informalities, by sharing, by helping, by coming to the rescue, by saying some nice words when they are required. That's what Ram did, that's what we do in the Vishwa Hindu Parishad, emulating his views. And that's why whatever we do, we do for the Lord. 
and conclude this portion by a shloka. Do and we know that shloka and we recite it twice a day. If we recite it, understanding the meaning of it, it would be more useful. Ramji. You all know this shloka by heart. How many of you know the meaning of this verse? <laughs> Sorry, that's all right. I'm not asking you. I see one hand raised, huh? And the Two. Three. Four. All right. Now, this shlok is an analogy of a homa, of a yagna. And it begins with it. Brahmar Panam. Brahmar Panam. Arpan here refers to the things that are used in a hawaii, particularly the long spoon, which is also called a suva, where from which we pour, we take or uh, take the ghee and offer it to the fire. So the plates and the other things that we use in the hawaii, they are all what are they? Something made of steel, something made of tree leaves. The shloop says they are Brahma, the things. And then Brahma Havi. What is Havi? Havi is the Havi is the things that you offer. Samagri and he. What is that Samagri and he? That Samagri and he is no different from the Brahma. The Samagri and the he in itself is the Brahma. The third is Brahma Agnau, Agni, the fire. The fire is Brahman. While we go through this verse, make a mental picture of it, of a haban food, of the things that you have collected, the samkri and the ghee. You are sitting there. The fire has been alighted. The haban is going on. You look at your spoon, glass and other things. Tell yourself. These instruments are in the service of the Brahman, they themselves are Brahman. The Samagri and the Ghee, they are offered to the Brahman, they themselves are the Brahman. And this fire is the Brahman. Brahmaganav. Brahmana Bhutam. The act of putting those things into the fire. That itself is Brahma. And who is the person offering it? Now you can answer it. He is also the? He is also the? Brahma. You will participate in it. And what is to be achieved by it? Brahman. And therefore, the most beautiful One word has been missed out, the most important word. And therefore, the person who offers this 
who is involved in the act of offering and speaking of mantras, this karma, this karma is his samadhi into Brahma. Brahma, karma, samadhi na. एक कर्म समाधि होती है कबीर ने लिखा है कि मैं जो बोलता हूं वो भगवान की आरती है मैं जहां जाता हूं वो भगवान की परिक्रमा है <coughs> मैं जहां लेटता हूं वो भगवान को दंडवत है ये पूरा जीवन और इसका प्रत्येक कर्म ये ब्रह्म कर्म होगा तो ब्रह्म में समाधि हो गई ऐसा होगा और इसलिए अगर आप गूगल पर गीता का ये श्लोक डालेंगे तो आपको ज्यादा लोग ये नहीं बताएंगे जो उसमें एंट्री ला रही है ये गीता का श्लोक है ज्यादा लोग बताएंगे ये भोजन का श्लोक है और फिर जब आप भोजन करेंगे तो क्या करेंगे तो आप भोजन की सामग्री में जरूर गस्सा तोड़ेंगे और वो मुंह में डालेंगे ये हवन की एनेलॉजी पर ब्रह्म को समर्पण है क्योंकि आप अपने स्वाद और आनंद के लिए नहीं खा रहे आप इस शरीर को स्वस्थ रखने के लिए खा रहे हैं जिससे मानवता की निरंतर सेवा अगर इसलिए खा रहे हैं कि मानवता की सेवा कर सके तो ये यज्ञ होगा आपका भोजन स्वयं खाना ये यज्ञ होगा आपका सांस लेना और छोड़ना ये यज्ञ होगा और ये मैं नहीं कह रहा हूं गीता में लिखा है कि सांसों का सांसों में हवन होता है ऐसे कार्यकर्ता की हम कल्पना करते और कुछ मंडेन बात करें तो फिर आगे क्या करना होता है उस कार्यकर्ता को ईश्वर के कर्म के लिए क्या करना होता है तो दो बातें हैं उसमें ये निराकार भक्ति नहीं है ये निर्गुण भक्ति नहीं है ये शिव की मानस पूजा भी नहीं है ये मानस पूजा है तो अच्छी चीज पर मुझे अजीब सी लगती है कि प्रसाद नहीं लाना कपड़ा नहीं लाना फल नहीं लाना कहना है कि मैं अपने मन में कल्पना करके तुमको दे रहा हूं परिषद का काम मानस पूजा नहीं है प्रत्यक्ष पूजा है और इसलिए जिसको विश्व हिंदू परिषद का कार्यकर्ता होना है उसको अपने रेगुलर जीवन में से इस काम के लिए समय निकालना आवश्यक है अवर आहुति अवर इन्वेस्टमेंट अवर ऑफरिंग ऑफ टाइम फॉर द विश्व हिंदू परिषद वर्क दैट इज फॉर द गॉड्स वर्क ये समय देना ये पहली आवश्यकता है दूसरी आवश्यकता है अपने दिए हुए काम को समझना एक बार हम गए थे कुछ किताबें सब लोगों को बांट रहे थे एक टोली गई कोई एक जना उस किताब को जानता था उसने कुछ सवाल पूछे तो उन्होंने कहा कि हम आपके यहां पर अपने अधिकारी को भेज देंगे वो आपको बता देंगे इसने खुद नहीं पढ़ा था मैकेनिकल काम नहीं करना केवल फिजिकल नहीं होना अपने काम को अपने क्षेत्र को समझना जरूरी है उसके लिए पढ़ना जानना पूछना जरूरी है और फिर जब हम अपने क्षेत्र को समझ गए हम अपने काम को समझ गए तो उस सनातन धर्म की प्रस्थापना के लिए जो योजना बनानी है उसके लिए टोली जरूरी है यह करके जब हम करेंगे तो फिर हमको अपने क्षेत्र में सफलता मिलेगी इन तीनों चीजों को करने के साथ साथ 
दो चीजें ध्यान रखना चाहिए नंबर वन जैसा कहते हैं ना कि देर आर नो फ्री लंचेस वैसा ये भी कहते हैं कि देर इज अ कॉस्ट टू एवरीथिंग विश्व हिंदू परिषद का काम करेंगे तो उसकी कीमत देनी पड़ेगी अब कहीं से तो समय निकालेंगे अपने घर से निकालेंगे अपने बच्चों से निकालेंगे अपने बिजनेस में से निकालेंगे अपने एंटरटेनमेंट में से निकालेंगे अपने सोने के समय में से निकालेंगे कुछ तो भी हानि होगी उस हानि का आनंद उठाना उसको स्वीकार और उस कॉस्ट को पे करते हुए निर्भयता से निरंतर काम करना और जितना काम दिया गया है उसको करना जो लोग जर्मनी में काम करते हैं उसमें से अधिकांश लोग तो कहते हैं जो 10 साल 12 साल 15 साल 20 साल से काम कर रहे हैं हमारी पुण्यभूमि भारत है हमारी कर्मभूमि जर्मनी है देर फोर वी हैव अवर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड आंसरेबिलिटी एंड द ड्यूटी टू पार्टिसिपेट इन वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन जर्मनी वी कांट बी एन अरूव पार्टी या माइग्रेंट फॉर द लाइफ इकोनॉमिक माइग्रेंट इज दर्ड यूज बाई समी सो वी कैन नॉट जस्ट विद इकोनॉमिक माइग्रेंट अ माइग्रेंट इज टेम्परी वी हैव कम हेयर टू सेटल If we have come here to settle and uh, spend the rest of our lives in Germany, and the legacy by the children, the family, they will continue to live in Germany, then you have a responsibility to Germany. I have asked them. They have said that if we are going to do one session, we can do one session in German language. We can give this invitation in German language. So, Germany's responsibility and Hindu's responsibility. कर्मभूमि के लिए जिम्मेवारी पुण्य भूमि के लिए जिम्मेवारी इनमें कोई अंतर विरोध नहीं है देर इज नो कॉन्ट्रेडिक्शन बिटवीन द टू ऑफ देम एंड द टू ऑफ देम शैन हैव टू बी अलाइन फॉर द विक्ट्री ऑफ सनातन धर्म तो दिस इन ब्रीफ आई हैव आउटलाइन सम ऑफ द थिंग्स रिक्वायर्ड ऑफ अ बी एच पी कैरेक्टर आई स्पेंड अ पार्ट ऑफ इट टू द स्पिरिचुअलिटी because what we are doing is a spiritual work is the god's work is our way for moksha sabke moksha ko apne swadharma ke anusar hona hota hai humne apne swadharma ke roop mein vishwa hindu parishad chuna hai is swadharma ko palan karke humko moksha hona hai is ye usi moksha bhavana se hum vishwa hindu parishad ka kaam karenge तो हमारा और जगती का दोनों का उद्धार होगा बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद